Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be watching even more Star vs. the Forces of Evil. And if you want us to finish Season 1 of Star vs., get this video to 8,000 likes. And this video is streamed live on Twitch.tv. Click the link in the description and come watch us live. We're probably live right now. And please go to our Patreon. We have exclusive videos reacting to Total Drama World Tour and more series coming soon. Patreon comps are spilling the milk. Get it already! This is happening now! Dude, Larry the Lobster fell off after Spongebob, bro. He started doing all those drugs, and now it's over. After he got addicted to meth. The Salty Splatoon had a serious drug problem. There was, like, a serious drug ring underneath it. Where do you think you're going, hmm? Uh, back home to celebrate how close we came with my bros. After that performance? Dude, what he's you... not cool enough to make it into the Salty Splatoon. Bro, Larry. You gotta hit the GM. What did Larry do that was so much worse? All these characters suck also. The giraffe got one-shot by a little f***ing child. You want seconds on those cupcakes? Oh, this is the episode where they tackle themes of depression and then it ends up in the quirky RPG. They're gonna need a really big pot to boil this guy. If you free the lobster antidepressants, will it die? Like, will it make it taste better? <laughs> is that how you get that buttery flavor? If the animal's happier, then it's the food is generally better because it's less stressed. Maybe their goal is to like cheer him up and then they boil him in a pot and eat him. What? That's crazy! Monsters are evil! Star's racist. Star is not racist, but she literally has a Hispanic best friend. But she just said monsters are evil. Look at them. Look at how they look. Dude, she's friends with a monster. He's... She's literally friends with a monster. Like, this guy's from Mexico, man. <laughs> what the F did you just say, man? Mr. Bins is fine. No harm, no foul. <laughs> What? Literally. Oh my God. He was eating the child. He was eating the child. A man's got to eat, bro. A man's got to eat. Help me. My baby is still inside. Okay, so this does take place in California because I was wondering earlier, but with the amount of fires. The wildfires. The amount of fires that are in this show, I think it's confirmed that we are in California right now. This fucking guy. Fuck you. No one loves you. No one likes you. Get out of the show, please. Oh, the three t demon is part of his team too? Could Star like cure cancer with her magic? Is she like not putting her magic to the best use? Most definitely, Core. But you know, with great power comes great responsibility. And the responsibility to let economy run and like let American healthcare stay the same, you know? Star, Star's just looking out for the healthcare industry. Yeah, she's you know? looking out for the overpaid doctors, you know? That, and I respect that. No, he broke the wand? No fucking way. What the fuck? It's an evil wand. What? What? Why are his nipples so pointy? Hold on. Oh my god, you got perky tip now. Don't listen to her! She's the enemy! He's picking between good and evil. Good girls like bad guys. I've had this lobster for a really long time. Bro, I'm I'm honestly pretty hungry. It's been years since I've had lobster. Just go to Subway and ask for the lobster, bro. It's like fucking delicious. I think I would get sick immediately. I'm so jealous. Can I touch your clothes? No. It kind of seems like the little guy's like a kind of like a pimp daddy and he has all these monsters that like are forced to follow him around. You know what I mean? I like how you called him a pimp daddy. He definitely <laughs> gives pimp daddy energy. He's definitely running a brothel in the magic land. Well, that's how he funds all these trips to the human realm, bro. He has to sell off the three t demons somehow. Oh, thanks for saving me again. That makes it <laughs> no fucking way, dude. They're tallying their friendship. Literally, like 90% of the times that she saved him, it's also her own fault that he's in danger. Wake up, Like we've been talking about all the murder she's done in her day to day. Imagine how many people she's killed in her sleep. Look, Dr. Marco, PhD. What does PhD stand for? Pretty handsome dude. What, what? What? I'm just confused. What? That was strange. That was. She's proud of her son. Her son is handsome. Dude, I think if Marco's mom called me a pretty handsome dude, like I would collapse to the ground. I think. I think I wouldn't be able to take it anymore. Hi, I'm Marco. My skinny jeans are awesome. This is racist. This is racist. She's doing brown face because she's wearing the red. Only Hispanics can wear the. Only Latinos can wear the red hoodie. Maybe I'm sleep spelling because I'm secretly a little alien guy in a gnome cap. And no. 
That's how the episode's gonna end. She said, and maybe there's a little known guy. That's gonna be the ending to the episode. I think the ending of the episode is Marco is gonna <laughs> fucking take her to therapy and she's gonna finally get the Adderall she so direly needs. Huh? <laughs> it kinda looked like she was pissing. Why is that funny? Like, everybody pees, dude. Grow up. Yeah, and it's always funny. Could you stop yelling? Well, I'm sorry. I is this is this the madam from uh, Ludo's brothel that we were talking about earlier? I guess that makes sense because she's, you know, very womanly, but also got like a penis for a nose. So the yeah, best of both worlds. Yeah. So I'm going to laser finger your face off of your head. Oh, you can have my face. That's kind of horrifying. They're oh. going to do face swap. That looks good. What is this episode? This is insane. <laughs> Assault always is the answer. That's I guess that's like the most effective use of psychology. Only time psychology has ever worked. You're this magic princess from another dimension, and I'm just... <clears throat> as a PhD myself, as a pretty handsome dude, I need to ship them. I need to ship them. No, because I literally put the P in HD, because I always PhD. That's kind of ableist, though. Whatever character this is, they're ableist. I think it's the devil, so I think you got it spot on. Because the devil, I imagine, is not the most, like, you know, accepting of able-bodied people. Hey, Star. Basha! It's literally gender-swapped Basha. Man, Basha, I fucked with him. We broke up! Period. I'm a changed man, okay? I've got a life coach, Brian. Hey. <laughs> Yo, Brian! Hey, Brian! <laughs> Brian! Bro, man went to therapy. Man actually went to therapy. And talk it out. Walk it out. Uh, you better run. Oh, no, 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 no! <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> he has one bad day from fucking killing everyone. I kind of I kind of respect him. So he used to date Star, but then he probably killed a bunch of people, and she was like, I'm okay if you kill a few people, but genociding an entire population is probably a little bit too much. Why don't you just stay here? Where it's always fun. This is a different kind of fun. Damn, Marco's getting cucked, bro. It's starting. The the cuckening of Marco. All I'm saying is guys like Tom never change. Well. What? Ew. Was, what? what the what? fuck what? are you watching? Why did they frame the shot like that? Why did he cover his eyes when he saw her feet? I have so many questions. You want to turn the Blood Moon Ball into a greeting card holiday? Go ahead. Wait. Which one of you said that? Me. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good joke. This is a good joke. That was a good joke. I like this episode so far. You can be positive that your anger is negative. Brian, dude. He's we all the... need a Brian, you know? We all need a Brian in our lives. I need a Brian under my desk doing ungodly things to keep me not angry, man. I'll have my own blood moon ball in Star's bedroom where it's always fun. Slavery, Dude, Marco though. looks like a better Call Saul character. The second Tom <laughs> drops her off tonight, he's gonna shoot him in the freaking head, man. Look, you do you, boo. I'm gonna go get a drink. Did he just readjust his wiener? Funds, I don't... I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he did, bro. Most relatable moments. Most relatable. You wanna dance? Her dance card's full. There's no music at this point. Where's the music at? <laughs> yeah, this is the worst party ever. It, it's like a demon ball. So it's like an anti like prom. So they just have no music, no dancing. It's just people standing alone in a room. They're, they're gonna they're gonna bust it down on the dance floor to a compilation of poetry readings. Oh, that's the wrong piece of music. Dude, we need Brian here, man. This guy looks kind of unstable. <gasps> the Dia de los Muertos. Dude, I'm sorry, but every single time I see Dia de los Muertos in a cartoon it pisses me off so much like that is literally the oh. only piece of latino culture that is literally in freaking anything it makes me so angry let's get out of here this place is the worst oh my god what the flip you don't want to make tom angry man you messed up big time brother you're not gonna like him when he's angry you're not gonna like me when i'm angry that's when i let my demons out to play no, Brian. Brian. Not even Brian can help us now. <laughs> no. No. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. That was funny. They handled that one character in particular very well. Star versus the forces of Schneider, man. They should have called this show. Fuck this show, man. 
wasn't a total disaster. Now I know you can dance. <laughs> shipping moments. Bro, shipping. If, if I was a 14-year-old on Tumblr, I would be losing my shit right now. As a 14-year-old on Tumblr, I am fucking blushing right now. Hat hair. Whoa! Whoa we, we both, both said, said the, the same, same thing? thing. Okay, okay, stop, stop that. that. Dude, we said the same thing at the same time. And then we did it again. Because that's how people talk. <laughs> These are things that actually happen and I can relate. That happens. That happens. We do that like every recording. <laughs> so what, you're saying we're gay? Huh, you're saying yes. we're gay, Corey? Yes, yes. we're yes. gay! What the Ex f*** it. else is new? What is new? Where do I see myself in 10 years? Oh, we're best friends, and we hang out all the time. Dude, look at his pencil holder. That goes hard. It's like impaling <laughs> That's pretty That's sick. so cool. That's Whoa, hilarious. whoa, whoa. Octo dad in this bitch. West Munian Swamp Water. Oh my god. It's Saul, dude. Saul sliz Lizard Man, bro. Oh my daddy alert, guys. Holy shit. Did anybody catch his name? Toffee. That is the hardest business card ever. There is no information. It's literally just your first name with a period. That kind of goes hard. Yeah, you're right. Not very useful. I don't think he's going to get much business out of it, but it is cool. Those fortunes aren't magic. They're put there by people in a factory. Oh my goodness. Star's going to become a fucking astrology girl, isn't she? It was only a matter of time till this was revealed, Corp. We could have thought of this in the first episode, to be honest. Like, there's literally real magic, and Star is the bitch who's going to believe in fake magic still. Can you give me a hand? Yes. What? No way. She had to open the fortune to see whether Bro. or not she should give him a hand. What did it? What did the fortune say? Help your Mexican friend get off the ground? Like... <laughs> Well done. What if it just says k yourself? Like, and Star just, like, she does it, man. Kill yourself. Okay. If you say so. They can just make it give the wand to the evil guy. They could just make that the fortune cookie. Why? Star is, like, extra stupid this episode. Like, she's really, really dumb in this episode. You guys really need some hugs. It's actually working. <laughs> What? Gay? He's gay? The, gay. Like, literally gay there for a second. Like, not that there's anything wrong. I'm not saying that, but I'm just like, whoa. Yes! Yes! Back off, dude. I've been waiting for this since middle school. What? <laughs> what does he mean by huh? that? That's kind of suspicious. That's kind of strange. Isn't that strange? This show is really, really weird. This is really hard to say. But if this is going to go any further, I want our relationship to have a foundation of honesty. <laughs> <laughs> what? The three dudes try to come on the store? Love is never the answer. Mega Mushroom Destruction Blast! Maga, Maga Mushroom. What? Trump nuclear bomb! Go! Obviously, you know better than a dessert. No, it's my fault. Marco didn't even do anything in this episode and he went all out to help her regardless. Like, hello? Marco, do not apologize. <laughs> it's not your fault. Do not tell this bitch about Zodiacs, please. That was the closest we've ever come. Is, is he gonna be the main, I like this guy way better. I, I hope he like eats Ludo in a very gruesome scene. Bites his whole fucking head off. Literally the biggest complaint we had were that the villains were lame and they actually did something about the villains being lame. Like we can't, fuck, well we still can't complain and we will complain, but we might complain less now. Every day I get there by 7.55 because at exactly 7.56, Jackie Lynn Thomas gets there. Oh no, 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 no. This is scary. Oh, oh let's go. I love, God. I love shipping. Every single episode is shipping now. He gets there just so he could, he could nod at his crush and not say anything. He doesn't even dap her up. I can't make it. Can't you just uh, uh, magically stop time or something? Easy peasy time, Freeze. <laughs> did, did Star forget she has magic powers? Uh, she just coincidentally said the spell to freeze time. It's a freeze day! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what a 14-year-old boy would actually do in this situation. I'm not gonna say it, though. <laughs> <laughs> what to do if you freeze time? We can move time forward if we go to the planes of time and push the wheel of progress. Wheel of progress. Oh my goodness. They've got to get the plot moving. No more filler episodes. I'm Father Time, and this is Roxworth. He's a rock, but... 
Don't bring it up. He's kind of sensitive about it. The idea of Father Time just being like a giant man-child is a little funny, though. He's stuck in the past, dude. How long were you on the wheel? Forever. Until someone cast a free spell and knocked me off of it. They freed him of his permanent slave labor, and now they need to convince him to go back to working for literally all of eternity for the world to function. That's weird. That's weird. I hate it. Oh, oh my god. god. Ew. Ew, this makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is a really funny episode. What the hell? This is like some Infinity Train shit. I feel like this world is like by far the coolest world they have gone to. Dude, this is Girls Last Tour, dude. This is the last episode of Girls Last Tour that they are experiencing right now. <laughs> actually, actually. He's been doing that nod for fucking. Oh my god, he's been doing it since he was like, bro! Great. I think we got him. Yuck. Okay, buddy. Let's get you back to your wheel. They're gonna force him back into bondage. Like, this is not okay right now. It's for the greater good, bro. How about you shut up, you utilitarian c Jack? That's what you are. You're a utilitarian c Aww, he's so sad. Oh, Maybe they're gonna depressed. put like a TV on his wheel so he can watch like Seinfeld. Oh, they give him an iPad. He becomes an iPad kid. Now you can go anywhere you want and keep the wheel moving. Ah, thanks guys. What a wholesome end. I think they should have forced him back into permanent slavery though. Yeah, that would have been easier for them, but they went a little bit overboard. Do it. Come on. You can do it. Pussy. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Marco. Hey, pussy, you finally decided to talk to me. Progress. Bro, it's progress, bro. It's progress, bro. You know, I, you can't roast my boy Marco for that. Progress is progress. He did it. Morning, Marco. Hey. <laughs> Yo, this is a cool way to wake up. I love water slides, man. That's so cool. Dude, I used to love water slides, but one time I flew too far out of the water slide that I like. I felt like I was about to die. I've just had a lot of traumatic water slide experiences, so. This is like the perfect getaway without actually getting away. Bro, this guy literally has my body right now. I'm not gonna. He's wearing a fucking speedo. Dude, Marco's dad is kind of daddy. I'm not even gonna. Wait, are we gonna see the mom? Are we gonna see the mom for no particular reason? Like, I'm not- like, I just want to see her just because she's a great character. She has a nice personality. I hope she's wearing an equivalent outfit to the speedo of the dad. Ugh, who am I kidding? Your mother has banished me from the castle. Your mother and I are having a divorce. Wait, they actually are. They actually are. I cheated on your mother with my jester. You look at him, he's such a little twink. She just found me f***ing the maid. That's a typical dub. I'm the king, I can f*** whoever I want. Thanks. What's next on the itinerary for the deal? <laughs> Why is his socks being wet like a primary plot point? The B plot of this episode is Marco having wet socks. Because it's something everyone can relate to, bro. <laughs> Santa! <laughs> that is so fucking funny. I'm gonna not comment on that. I'm gonna not comment on it either. Let's do it together in solidarity, brother. What party? I'm having such a great time here, I've decided to stay! Oh my <laughs> god! That That's a horrifying facial expression. I feel like Star somehow makes a completely new face in every episode. No, it's literally like the gumball effect where they just try to make a crazy face every time. Who thought this was a good idea for a plot? Was it like really rainy in LA one day and all the writers were like, yeah, everybody's gonna really fuck with the wet socks plot line. I perhaps got a little carried away. And I may have been a little inconsiderate. It really makes sense why Star is this way because of her father. Like we think Star is, is the most chaotic motherfucker on the planet, but her dad is like 10 times worse than her. Well, like if we think about it, okay, so the dad is irresponsible and a piece of shit. So the mom was probably drinking heavily oh. during Star's pregnancy, which would explain a lot about her personality. <laughs> what I smoked, dude. I, I feel so high watching that. Hello? What the fuck? was that thanks to our patrons at patreon.com for spilling the milk please give us money it helps support us and pay our bills 
Resident Don, Kristen Jack, Xander, Ricardo, James, Pepper, Dane, Luke, Quaking, Simon, Oren, Gabriel, Jordan, Jasmine, Christian, Ludwig, TJ, Tristan, Sam, True, Armored, Tyson, Lone, Sully, Netlet, Force, Tech, Glutenfree, Minky, Mario, Kia, L, Case, Tech, Dan, Quinn, Callout, Reverted, Bam, Alexis, Corgi, Roshana, Fat Putt, Black Knight, Dentepic, Angel, Bunny, PB and J, Carter, Helmboy, 125, Autumn, Matthew, Rocket, Elizabeth, Ace, Mythical, Doggo, Yobthog, Daniel, Sam, Detone, Ryan, Kamui, Caitlin, Blink, K99, SS, Tia, Stellar, Atomic, King Red, Alfredo, Crescido, Mark, Matthew, Markizel, Daniel, Deadman, Argafargadar, Jake, Trippy, R the Mercy, Ava, Damali, Whitavers, Mr. Delta, Crescent, Blackman, Bubs, Kato, Heather.